Friends for Change. This is such a great project. Yes, good morning, you guys. It is so cool. And Alina Washington is here with me this morning, one of the co-creators of this project. When you come downtown, it is starting to really look different in a great way. And we're standing in front of one of these murals that was just recently painted. Alina, tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing. And you guys did it fast. Yes, we acted fast. Uh, long story short, I saw an Instagram story. I shared it to my Instagram story. People flooded the DMs wanting to help, uh, you know, beautify these boards that we've seen uh, businesses put up. And uh, the end goal, our intention is once these boards come down, as we've seen in a matter of hours, actually, some of these businesses, these will be displayed and auctioned off. The proceeds will go towards local black youth organizations. We've identified several that we would like to support during this time. Um, but but that's in addition to a GoFundMe fund that we've uh, started. Initially started at a $2,000 goal. That was met within 12 hours. So now we are, at last check, less than $600 shy of reaching our $5,000 goal. Again, this is all going to be invested back into black youth. Um, the piece you're looking at now is done by a tattoo artist named Jocelyn. This is her first mural, but since she's been out of work and needing to find an outlet, we were happy to provide that for her. Um, Pink Floyd inspired cover art of the wall with the names of many black men and women who have died at the hands of police. So very powerful here at Honey Salon on 19th in Midtown. Come check it out. Tag boards for change. And we're looking for right now, I need a specific call out for black artists. Black artists, this is about us. We need to see us represented. So you can contact me at L Washington TV on Instagram or Twitter contact boards for change on Instagram. You can email us as well. We have all the information on how you can get involved and we need your voice. We need your perspective because it's about us. And, and the support is remarkable. And we should mention a lot of these people, like you said, the, the person that did this, they're not artists. They're by no. trade. So you're getting first time um, muralists coming out and doing this. And we have some video, uh, some pictures rather of the uh, boards that have been done around the area. So yeah. we're looking at some of those right now. Talk about some of these, these murals that have been done. Yeah. So just to give people an idea, this literally all came together in 48 hours. So uh, the initial idea started Thursday. We met um, Kimberly Prince, the owner of Nectar, and Shannon O'Rourke, a local artist, and I collaborated at noon on Friday. And uh, by 7.30 Saturday morning, we had a young woman out at North Star Collective on 13th and see creating a beautiful Black Lives Matter inspired mural. It's her first time ever doing something like that. And we're just able to provide this space and outlet for artists wanting to, um, you know, feel a catharsis in, in, in this art through this moment. So um, we've had 17 year old girls, Folsom High School graduates, USC swimmers, um, young people of all colors uh, and, and parts of the greater Sacramento region. So it's great to see everyone coming together um, and providing their resources, donating their time and money and talents to make this all uh, an investment into our community right now. And there are still a lot of boards that, that need to be done. So yes. uh, so find uh, all of the uh, opportunities through the social media outlets and through the email that you're going to see here up on the screen. Uh, there are a lot of boards that need to be painted. You do not have to be an artist if you want to express yourself, if you want to do something like what Jocelyn did right here. It's pretty amazing. And you're seeing a lot of this now, you guys popping up here in downtown Sacramento. I'll send it back to you. Great idea. Fantastic.